To me, it meant something that just felt, felt out of place. Where I wanted to be was in space, but I was in the wrong environment. In the deep, when your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that shit in slow motion, yeah. I feel like an astronaut in the ocean, Hey, What you know about rolling down in the deep? What up, it's Mars Wolf. I'm a rapper from Sydney, Australia. And I'm gonna take you behind the video of Astronaut in the Ocean and react to your YouTube comments. no. What was the concept for the video? I had no idea. I, I literally rocked up and, and I, he, he goes, we'll take care of it and we'll have some background drops for you to choose from. We actually had like a massive fish bowl. <laughs> so we could only use it for like two seconds and that's all it was used for. Let's just get this straight for a second. I'm a work. I shot it in Sydney, in the western suburbs, in like a warehouse with a massive projector. How long did it take you to shoot it? Two hours. Really? How much did it cost? Can I say? A grand? It's not a bad ratio, a grand for 282 million plays on YouTube. That's the one tip I'd give. Like, don't put all your money into music videos when you're not known. Who directed it? Crazy thing is, I met this guy like years ago. His name is Daniel Serenaro. Four years later, I came back to him and I said, I'm moving back to Sydney. Let's do a video. This is the one. What you know about rolling down in the deep? Min Huang says, This song is great, but what you know about rolling down the deep? What you know about rolling down in the deep? <laughs> I'm like, that is not the original rolling in the deep. The amount of times I've received this question is beyond a number, it's infinity. The weird thing is, I hope people don't feel what it's like to roll down in the deep because it's representing pain. But thank you, Min. I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. What is an astronaut in the ocean? To me, it meant something that just felt, felt out of place. Where I wanted to be was in space, but I was in the wrong environment. I had the suit on, I was ready to go, you know? So like, it doesn't have to revolve around music, but that's what it revolved around for me. Hey, let's just get this straight for a second. I'm a Maria Hartman line. I love that he wore a polo hat in this video. So the day before, I was stressing because I didn't have a hat. I went into Maya and I just saw this polo hat and I was like, this is sick. And I just got it and yeah, thanks Polo. <laughs> I was actually gonna wear the orange jumpsuit for Astro on my first uh, performance at a festival and we canned it because it looked, looked cheesy. Light step, disclaimer, this song is up MVP. This is the MVP, light step, 100%. It is, you know what? I didn't think it would be addictive either, to be honest with you. But hey, it is what it is. This dude's name is literally a smiley face. If I hear this song one more time, I'm gonna lose my actual mind. And he spelt lose with double O, which is loose. Feel free to give me a direct email and I'll send you uh, the mastered version of the track. <laughs> I believe in G-O-D, don't believe in T-H-O-T. Vanessa Mayer, this is the first man to sing on the moon. That English is concerning. However, I'll agree with the comment. Do you believe we really went to the moon? No. I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. I Liam Alman, my four-year-old son loves this song. Everything we get into the car, or every time we get into the car, he's going to say, my son asked for me to play this song first. It's because your son obviously has an ear for gold, Liam. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb? You can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much. Put that shit in slow motion, yeah. I feel like an astronaut in the ocean.